Okay, this is the southern route. And first thing we do is grab a janky cart. I always grab the janky carts. This location is in Tempe. One thing you might notice in looking at these is that the racks are color coded and that yellow is always on the end. And the first thing that catches my eye is a lawnmower. And I don't think you can see the tag on it but it is ridiculously overpriced it seems that uh, Goodwill uh, doesn't quite understand that they're a thrift store or at least the people who price things don't quite understand that they're a thrift store and putting some of the ridiculous prices that they put on certain items. I've picked up lawnmowers for as little as five dollars and just about every lawnmower that comes in has to have a lot of repair. That's a brand new blade. It can take anywhere from Ten bucks to uh, twenty or thirty dollars to get a lawnmower fixed up and running. There's a reason they've been donated. It's usually not good. That looks like uh, I think it's a push mower down there, and uh, there's a tile cutter or it's a, a little uh, table saw, I'm not sure. And then we have an actual violin, but it's a pretty cheap one. I don't know how much these go for, but that one's probably overpriced. That to the right of the case is a, or the shelves is a, an entertainment center that's been ridiculously overpriced for the past month. I think they've wanted $150 for it. Going through a second pass. Once again, just checking out whatever's in these little grab bags. It uh, can be surprising what you find in them. There's another brand new lawnmower blade. And that was some kind of float with line wrapped around it. Those uh, power tools, power tools can be easily reused if you know what you're doing. Some 
various lights. Almost every 18 volt power tool that you find can be made to work using uh, universal adapters for certain major brands of tool batteries like uh, you can get a battery adapter that works with um, lets you use Makita or DeWalt batteries with anything. And this is uh, just a slide projector that bubble thing is a hair dryer old timey hair dryer I'm just going to take a quick jaunt down to the uh, other side of this sometimes uh, stuff people carry stuff take it down away from wherever it is they picked it up so they can look at it and then uh, if they decide they don't want it they just leave it so that's gonna well no there's actually a little more of this store we're gonna show you the front counter and I apologize in advance that um, you won't be able to read the or see the pictures in it. So this is the front counter and during COVID they stopped putting stuff in it. They've just started putting stuff in it and uh, they basically what they were doing was they'd put these pictures out and almost everything in this book is ridiculously overpriced. Um, just a joke. Once again grab a janky cart. These carts are in pretty bad shape. Uh, most of the time there's garbage and stuff stuck in the wheels. String. Clothes. Whatever. And once again notice that the uh, the racks are all co color coded in a rainbow. They purposely do that. Yellow is on the end. You'll never be able to unsee it. A lot of people out today, it's old people day, so a lot of older people. Still looking for that entertainment audio system. That brown thing, that intrigues me. I'm, It's a sharper image something. I, I don't know if it's a, a clock radio or what. It seems to be backlit. And I didn't bother testing it because I think it's just a clock radio. But weird. Shelves have been recently cleaned out here. There's a, a switch, network switch. Someone dumped a whole mess of toner cartridges for, for something. Another sewing machine. Looks like from the 80s. A 12 volt curling iron. Almost thought of that for my wife for when we go camping and such, but.
That is string for a string trimmer. It's very thick. I've never seen a string trimmer string that, that heavy duty. Bunch of cones of shame down there. Paper towel dispenser. Up here in one of the aisles I'm about to go try to go through is someone camped out. Not sure what they're doing, but people do that all the time. I've even seen people sleeping on the couches. Goodwill used to sell a lot of TVs, especially the old-fashioned TVs, and they used to go through a lot of trouble to hook them up so that they were all on and working. And towards the end of when they stopped carrying TVs, they had the prices down to 50 cents a piece. And, uh, oh, this is an overpriced $7 for a little plug strip. Uh, the only people who were buying them were uh, crack addicts who would come in, buy the TVs for 50 cents, rip the the copper coils out of them, dump them in alleys, and then take the copper in for scrap value, which was more than 50 cents. So I think it was like $3 a pound at one time. This is a uh, second... Uh, time through. So after a while uh, Goodwill stopped accepting TVs because nobody was buying them and they just they, they had to be scrapped and they were only Uh, you have to actually pay to have them taken away. They're considered uh, hazardous waste because of the CRTs. Another look at that uh, weird whatever it is. It's got an LCD display that's completely see-through and there's a, a big backlight behind it. Empty box. On to the next. Store number three. This store has a lot of trouble with uh, the AC going out. You'll notice there's a guy in the very back doing some work. I think in the last year the air conditioning's been out in this one for uh, three occasions. Masks are mandatory, I'm sorry, not mandatory, masks are, um, you know, it's up to you if you want to wear one or not. So, uh, it'll, if you keep an eye out, oftentimes you'll see people who, they're wearing, they have a mask on their face, that is some kind of weird 
Bluetooth speaker. They'll have a mask on their face, but it doesn't cover their nose. And since it's not required, it's like, why are you bothering? If, if, if you're not going to wear the mask on your, over your nose, don't bother wearing it at all. It's uh, some kind of calculator, that's what I'm looking at. This is my quick go through. That lantern up there, I have one of those and converted it to LED. I have a video about that. It's a Rayovac. Those skill cordless tools, I have a video about converting those to use Makita batteries. I already have a complete set of that gun cleaning kit. That's a Marlboro Money little compressor battery thing down there in the lower left. Lots of iPhone clock radios. And this is what I mean by, you know, keep an eye out on all the other shelves because coming up here there's a Caliphone record player that's that was just stuck in with the sports equipment. It's uh, useless to me. Radio TV phono nut would probably want it, but I have no use for it. I came in here and I was looking at whatever that is, a speakers of some kind, and I saw that drone sitting over there. And my first thought was that it's a, uh, a DJI or whatever Mavic drone, but, and even though it has a camera, I think it's just a knockoff of it. Uh, looks like the price is six bucks, but I want the real thing. But I'm going to be buying one new. This is some record player, I think it's a, something you'd find at Radio Shack. Needles missing. Someone abused it. In fact, it, the thing, the records go on, it's broken. So it's junk. A lot of times you'll find the uh, styluses or cartridges are missing on any turntables that you, you find at a goodwill, and that's because people steal them. Oftentimes the turn the stylus or cartridge is the worth more. Black and Decker Dustbuster, those things only last about two, maybe three years before the batteries die. And you can't replace them, the batteries, at least it costs as much as uh, the vacuum is new to replace the batteries. Store four. Get a cart. Always get a cart. This is one of the stores that I've got some, a couple of good finds. I picked up a tube oscilloscope here. I think it was like twelve dollars and it just needed one tube replaced in it to get it working.
some people blocking the aisle. The shelves have been cleaned off recently. Not much here. Crosley, piece of crap, record player. This one has Bluetooth capability. There's a cart, a production cart that's out, but nothing on it. Well, there's one item on it I want. Solar powered USB charger that they want a ridiculous amount of money. I think $17. Yep, 17. That's a monopod for cameras. Actually, pretty nice one. Almost thought about getting it, but I, I almost never need a monopod. I always usually need a tripod. actually picked up some uh, machinist tools off this rack a while back. Cigarette lighter adapter. That's a compressor. Empty box. Ooh, what's this? Oh yeah, that's the item off of the cart that I want. That is a oily item or oily rag garbage can. And they normally sell for $65 plus dollars. So uh, we're going to get that. It actually is broken, and which is probably why it was donated, but I was able to fix it with a cotter pin. This guy walking by was walking really strange. It's hard to tell from there, but uh, he, he really was walking like he was out of it. Lawnmowers are often in this area, which is why I went back there. I think we're on our second pass. And I happen to see this. This is a, a tablet DVD player. I don't know if it works. I didn't bother testing it. But when I looked it up later, it was like, it's kind of interesting. It would have been uh, interesting to mess around with it. But I don't really care about having a tablet. Or a portable DVD player. Rarely ever need anything like that. Looks like either it never got used or they just they stuck it back in and that was it. Snowboard. Careful, lady, don't drop it. And she dropped it. So I think that's about it for this one. I think we're on the fifth store. There's no carts available, everything was completely empty. There's probably no more than 10 carts in the whole store.
the store at one time had uh, a huge amount of bobbleheads new in the box at the front counter before they got rid of the front counter. I don't know that I've ever really gotten anything from this uh, this store of any high value that I can remember. So I oftentimes skip this one and the next store. Nothing I'm looking for. Polaroid camera. There's another Coleman stove. This one's missing the f fuel tank. You can actually get an adapter that allows you to use propane with those. Replaces the fuel tank with a propane cylinder. Oh, there's a uh, nail gun. Don't know if it works. It's very likely it does, but um, who knows. I think they want a bit too much for it. It's only about half the price of, and our, of it, what it was new. Lots of hedge trimmers. I don't know why people get rid of their hedge trimmers. I don't know if they just don't realize you, you need to oil them or what. I haven't tested any of them to see why they're in there. I don't know if they just they got new ones or maybe they got dull or maybe they don't need a hedge trimmer anymore. Don't know. That is a 6 volt lantern battery adapter. It lets you put D batteries in it instead of, and use those in place of it. Because effectively, that's what a 6 volt lantern battery is is 4 D batteries. Oh, that's interesting. A flight, a joystick, and throttle. And, uh, oh, there's something wrong with the, the coating on it. It's all sticky. The, the rubber's turned to goo. A yoke. For a flight simulator. blinds and they're listed as uh, disposable crutches everyone gets rid of their crutches And this is a, a bread maker. It actually makes a, a more normal type of loaf than other bread makers. But it's rather large and bulky. A lot of coffee makers. I, people, I don't know if they just think they're going to like coffee and then suddenly don't. What the deal is, but always see tons of coffee makers. 
And this is some kind of enlarger. I think we're about done with this store. And this is the last store for the day. This one's in a more snooty part of town. And it's only been open now for maybe about a year, year and a half. Um, the only thing I've ever seen here that I'm interested in was a lawnmower, and it was a Honda, and they wanted $200 for it. Just absolutely ridiculous. Just because it said Honda on it. I think... Uh, that weekend was a 50% off sale, so someone probably bought it for a hundred. Now here's an example of this, this woman over here, she's not required to wear a mask, but she's not wearing it properly. It does not cover her nose. This is an escape ladder. previous video I filmed all this in 4K and then had to convert it down. This is filmed at 1080p 60 frames per second. I did enhance the color and the contrast. The uh, camera kind of inside it kind of washes everything out. Otherwise I tried to keep it yep, more of those iPhone clock radios so that's that's basically it for this one uh, I spent uh, nine dollars and change with the old people discount on that sixty five dollar garbage can a lot of stuff for bathtubs Always look on the top shelves. There's some RC cars up there. But uh, anyways, I think that's it for this one. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.